Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to Wintermute, Episode 2, Part 3. So I, I uh, came out here and hunted a, uh, a deer, got the hide. It's curing inside the cabin along with the uh, guts. And uh, just uh, waited for a good opportunity to start this trek over to the hunting lodge. Uh, there were some on and off blizzards throughout the last couple days, so I had to, had to wait on it to uh, get a little bit nice out here. It's 40... Five degrees out. It was 42 last I checked, but uh, no wind at the moment. I'm only carrying, uh, as you can see, 20 rounds with me. 10 in the rifle, an extra 10 with me. I also offloaded a lot of weight and repaired my clothes. So, everything's in pretty good shape. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to go for the the legendary spear from the hunting lodge. So, as far as the side quests, uh, basic... Why did this reset? Oh, that's weird. I had just... I had, like, that one complete, and I had a rosehip tea that I had brewed, but now they're back to zero. I'm not sure why they reset. Maybe that's a bug or something. But I'm not going to worry about the side mission, then, if that's the way it's going to be. Anyway. Well, I brought some crackers for us. I brought some crackers and some cattails, so... That's what we're going to live on unless we find something better. And we can always go hunting if need be. I also offloaded some flares. We only have like uh, three flares with us. Uh, basically, I hardly ever use flares, so if I need them, there they are. I know there's a crazy bear running around. I don't know if he's impervious to flares or not, but that's what we have, plus the rifle. So apparently the rifle doesn't do anything to him He's because he's cool like that. And somehow this spear is supposed to do do a better job. So that's what we're off to, to go get, to take care of this bear. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well out there in TV land or phone land or tablet land or PC land, wherever you are. hope you guys are doing good. I am doing pretty good. I am ready for my three days off uh, this weekend. Had a bit of a draining day yesterday. It involved underage. I had two calls. Every every day seems to have a th as a, as a theme, and it involved underage um, females and the internet and just some bad stuff. So I'm a bit mentally worn out from that. Uh, I'm sure, you guys can figure out what I'm referring to. I don't want to go into too many details, because one, I don't want to think about it, and two, uh, it's just... don't need to. So, anyway. Uh-oh, there's the wolf. We need to get moving here. I wonder if I crawl. Is he going away? Oh, he's walking away. Alright, that's fine. That works for me. I also grabbed a few extra pain meds. I have ten pain meds with me. I do have bandages as well, and antiseptic, and some antibiotics, but uh, shouldn't need the antibiotics, honestly, as long as we eat healthy and eat smart. Alright. Leave Mystery Lake, let's do that. Let's head on over here to Forlorn, Forlorn Musk, Muskeg, and uh, see what this world has for us. Now, I don't think the hunting lot, I think they're talking about it being all the way, yeah, it's all the way down here, and then at the maintenance yard behind that, so it's it's quite a trek. It'll be a bit of a uh, a traveling episode here. Now, this is uh, sort of a little bit of threading the needle when you come out from here. Cause sometimes there's wolves over here, sometimes there's a wolf over here. I uh, just need to be a little extra cautious. I don't have anything stinky on me. I ate all my stinky, stinky stuff, so other than my breath. Uh, should be all right. Okay. I see cattails over there. Obviously, I'm just going to leave those. I'm more interested in in the mission mission at hand, plus we have 25 cattails, and honestly in survival mode, or uh, I should say in the uh, story mode. 
food, water, and all that stuff isn't really a concern. Uh, definitely, the story is what keeps you engrossed in this type of gameplay. Not so much the survival aspects. More cattails. I see a wolf over here to the to the uh, left of us, at about uh, ten o'clock. Kind of going our direction a little bit. We should wouldn't shouldn't have any problems staying away from him. Uh, two two of them make that two wolves. There's one that just went behind that crooked tree and rock or a big snowball, whatever it is. Yeah, he just popped out there. So let's check over here. There's plenty of places to run to if uh, the wolves do decide to make a run at us, but uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Might be some decent stuff here in the in the derailment that we see up ahead here with these boxcars. Thought I saw something back there following us. I thought it was a bear, but uh, I don't think so. No, okay. I don't think the bear stalks us in this. I think it's scripted. A little more scripted. We got a backpack down here. We'll check that out. Empty. Empty. I wish I could jump. Alright, we got some stuff down here. I see some coal. I don't know how far those wolves come up to the boxcars. To metal, don't really need that. I will take the cold though, just in case we need an emergency fire with a lot of heat. Dog food. See a piece of wood up here, or a torch or something. Yeah, it's a piece of cedar wood. Eh, yeah. We'll just keep that on hand. Yeah, we should be able to get into one of these boxcars. Here we go. Die if I don't get some food soon. More coal. More coal. And more coal. Okay. Nice. Uh, advanced guns, guns, guns. As much as I would like to... As much as I would like to find that, typically. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to put that back. Thin wool sweater. I think what we have is better. Oh, we'll definitely take that. It's literally throwing... Literally throwing boxes of ammunition at us. Check the bedroll. 75% condition. I think ours is a little bit better condition. Double check here. 78. Yeah, it is a little bit better. Um, honestly, don't even need the book. But we can pretend that it means something. Where did it go? Probably under fire burn. Nope, it's not. Where's that? I must be blind. Thought I picked it up. Huh. I don't know. Whatever. I see more coal over there, but I'm going to leave it. Might need it on the return trip. Who knows? Let's just keep going. Now, there's a wolf up here feeding on a carcass in the, on the tracks right in front of us. So, we'll, we'll dip around it to the right. Um, I think that wolf is always there. At least when you first approach this area. Signal tower up there. Right, let's see if we can do this without breaking through the ice. And he's pretty distracted, so I don't think we're going to have an issue. Might need to outrun him. Let's see if we can do this without getting a weak ice message here. Okay. That's not going to work. I think we're okay. I heard him growl a little bit, but he's still on the carcass. Alright, let's get back off of this ice. Not that way. Okay, how are we going to do this? Are we going to be able to... I think we can go up and then over. Hmm. 
Yep, here we go. We can cut over right here. Get back on the tracks. And then we'll be back on track. Yeah, we got ourselves a little hunting blind over here. Oh, we got a wolf right here. Kind of going the same way we are. I think if I get over here, I can duck him to the uh, right. We'll see. There we go. Try to get out ahead of him. Best I can. I don't think I'll make it across there. Alright, he's kind of paralleling us, but he stayed over on that side of the tracks pretty well. So, unless it's a second wolf, that might be a... Oh, uh, maybe that's the only wolf. So, we'll go check this. Maybe we'll get some more ammo. Not that we need more ammo, but hey, we'll, we'll take it if we can find it. I don't think I can cut straight across there, so. Alright, we're almost over to the uh, region with the maintenance yard. Just right through those mountains. There's another tunnel. Alright, let's see what we have up here. Normally there's good stuff up in here. Like rifle rounds. Three rifle rounds. Can, can I get that one? Is it not going to let me get that one? It's not going to let me pick this one up? Really? What about this one? Hmm. That seems odd. That seems like the worst. Boy, that would be really bad if you had a rifle and absolutely no, no rounds. And you're like, oh yeah. I can't get those two rounds. That's really odd. Oh well, it is what it is. We got one at least. Sun's starting to set in the sky here a little bit. We're still doing pretty good, I think, here on weight. Yeah. So six pounds of uh, wiggle room before we get encumbered, which is nice. We got a probably a dead guy over here. We'll check him out on the way back. Because we won't, we won't head over that way for the, uh, the hunting blind. Once we have our spear, I don't know how how heavy this spear is going to be. I guess it's probably about three and a half pounds. If I was a betting man, I, I heard something. Hmm, not sure what it was. About to get ambushed or what? Maybe it's just a wind. All right, let's get out of here. Get out of forlorn. All right, now we're gonna head down here. There's the maintenance yard, and then up here is where we need to go. So. Yep, I don't think... I wonder if we can actually go around this way. You know what? I'm going to try it. See if I can go that way. That might be interesting. I've never gone that way before. Because I've never really seen this whole map before. But if we can do that, that'd be kind of sweet. Plenty of drinks. Might as well drink up a little bit here. Oh, another thing I dropped was a lot of the matches. I had like uh, probably over 100, at least over 100 matches, easy. And uh, probably about 150 actually. So I'm down to like 24 matches, which is fine. And the magnifying glass.
we get into any uh, trouble here with a wolf or anything, we're definitely just going to shoot first, ask questions later. We have so much ammunition on us and back at camp that uh, no reason to get into fights if we, uh, unless we absolutely have to, you know, go hand to hand. I'd rather play it safe. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can go this way. I've never gone this way, so this could be very dangerous for me. But we shall see. Can I get down this way? Ooh, not really. Not re well, maybe. We'll see. Well, I'm going to have to now. I don't think I can get back up. Nope. So we're going to have to make it work. One way or another. Right. Put this rifle away. I think the reason why I get sprained so much is because I run around so much uh, encumbered. People, I think people think uh, it has something to do with the rifle being out. I think that is just anecdotal evidence. And I don't think there's any real basis to it. What I do think is that the... Uh, I, I seem to remember there being a... A message from Hinterland in one of the updates uh, about maybe the uh, encumbrance causing sprains, but I've never heard it directly from Hinterland. About I thought I heard a wolf, maybe, maybe I didn't. Never heard anything from Hinterland about the uh, rifle being an issue, having it out. But feel free to. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, and make sure you cite your work, though. Give me give me a reference if you do have something that says otherwise. Hmm. I don't think I can go that way, so I'm going to have to go this way and then over this tree that's down. I'm just trying a new, trying to go a new path if I can, but I think I'm actually going the old path now. Yeah, I'm basically going the old way that I always went. I just turned in at a different time, that's all. So, yeah, if kind of, this is too steep here, forces you to go this way. This is a pretty narrow, like a pretty narrow and uh, closed off map as far as free roaming. Definitely not Pleasant Valley. Definitely not. That's as far as I can go. I can't go up this way as much as I would like to. So I'm going to have to come down here and go the old way. Look at that. We're starving and look at our condition. It hasn't even dropped. At all. Is that a bug or what? Not sure what's going on with that. We'll see. Let's see once we make it to the maintenance yard if we've even gone down one. I wonder if that's something. That's, yeah, no, it loaded up the it loaded up the new region. Okay, I'm gonna say because I couldn't pick up the uh, rifle rounds, and then it doesn't appear that any of my gauges are changing. Normally, that's like a desync issue. At least it was in PUBG back in the day. But uh, I don't know why it would load a new region if that was the case. So, who knows? Yeah, I mean, we got a, a we got a deer loaded in. Now the question is, if I shot that deer, would it actually die? Would it just ignore my rounds? Hmm. Well, I don't like playing like this because I feel like it's a cheat. Um, so if we make it to the maintenance maintenance yard and uh, still don't have any activity down there on the condition, because I should be dropping 1% of condition per hour, I could pass time to and check it. And if that holds true, then I'll just uh, I'll reload uh, the game. Let's see if that fixes the issue.
Yeah, it looks like all my uh, health indicators are all locked up for some reason. It's really weird. Uh, it would be so cool to be able to go in there. Wish we could. Eh. Alright. I think we have to go around on this one. Maybe. So I can cut through. Squeeze my... Squeeze my body on... Oh yeah, you can. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. See, I thought I had to go around every time. Maybe this is new. Maybe I just never noticed before. We'll, oh, we'll scarf. Nobody needs this anymore. I'm gonna test that one out once we get to the uh, maintenance yard. See if that one's better. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't go out. Don't go out. Oh shit. Wow. Maybe that was why. Nothing was happening with my gauges. Look at the lights. Oh, great. Can I get back in there? It won't let me back in there. Uh oh. Oh, hey! Methuselah, um, uh, whatever your name is. Is that a campfire? <laughs> Methuselah? I think. Probably. This is beautiful, though. Yep, it is. This is a good screenshot right here. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get a screenshot of this. I like this guy. He's cool. All right, just getting some, getting some pickies here. All right, let's talk to him. Y you again? How goes the war, my friend? Uh, war? The war between man and nature, of course. The lights in the sky, you and the bear. The cold, hunger. The old fights returning. Did you? scare the bear away there was no bear when i found you he is the bear perhaps it isn't yet time for your paths to cross listen old man i'm not sure you still believe things are going to go back to the way they were the lights in the sky remember i said they were a reckoning they're powering the lights around us now you see this can't be. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, and yet it has happened. And he's like, he's like the Canadian Yoda up in here. All right. Um, yeah, let's ask him about the aurora. So, this is some kind of recurring aurora borealis. Possibly. And it's. Affecting the electricity, the power, and everything dependent on it. Animating it or destroying it. Perhaps both. And you knew this was coming? No, but it was only a matter of time. This has all happened before. I've had a lot of trouble with wildlife lately. Is it always this dangerous around here? I've seen many strange things, of course. But the birds and beasts, their rhythms are their own. Meaning? The patterns of nature have been interrupted, broken. Even those who once knew how to read them are now confused. What do you think spooking the wildlife? I can't say for sure, but the lights in the sky may hold the answer. 
So, you think the Aurora is influencing the wildlife, too? There is much in nature that we cannot understand. Would it be so strange? Okay. I don't think we can ask him anything else, can we? No. Got an infinity fire, though. Just in case. Let me get this rifle out here. Are you kidding me? I'm... No. Methuselah, protect me. I know you're really the bear. I don't know if this uh, fire will protect me or not. Is he just going to sit here and watch me get eaten? I seriously hope he doesn't. Be messed up. There he goes. Okay, let's go. Glowing green dog. Don't you take your hate out on me. There he goes again. He doesn't get scared for nearly as long. There are dogs everywhere. We're going to have to run from light to light, I think. That's exactly what we're going to have to do. Light to light. Now nah, he's spooked. So we should be safe. Let's run to the next one. I don't like how that one flickers. That's not good. Remember, shoot first, ask questions later, right? Methuselah makes it look easy, doesn't he? Let's get inside of here. Now we gotta try not to get electric shocked. Alright, here we go. We made it. We're safe. Saw to break down. I don't need that. Baseball cap? No, thank you. Crumple note. Months without pay. Making us deal with those forest crazies. Now they're sending me after them? I've had it. After this trip, I'm done, no matter what. If you're coming to help, meet me on the far side of Mystery Lake near the summer cabins. We'll start there. Either we... Okay. Oh, shoot. There's an update little message down here. I think it's actually recording on the screen. Sorry about that, guys. Um... That's annoying. Let me see something here. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. There we go. Hope that didn't mess up the video. I don't think it did. A hacksaw. I, mean, I don't think we had one of those. Yeah. There can be all kinds of goodies in here. I already see some matches down here. And I think we'll stay the night here. We don't have that much longer to go. And we're not that tired. Goodness, we have a lot of those. These poor wolves. They are so confused right now. We got here some bandages. Bunch of painkillers. You can basically walk out with just the clothes on your back and come back almost completely geared, it seems like. This will come in handy. I'll leave that behind. Uh, nothing there. Nothing. I see another crumpled note here. Oh, we can check the buffer memory, though. Better do that before the Aurora stops. Can I check it? Okay. Oh, that's the crumpled. That's a note. Those lights in the sky are doing some funny things to the machines around here. We found this old shed and computers started turning on by themselves. Lamps lighting up. We've been trying to call down to the main office when the Aurora or whatever it's, ca ca it, it's called is out. But we're not getting through. Can't tell if the phones even work. There are just a handful of us from the winter crew hold up here. Some of them want to try for the coast and the settlements there. If you find this, that's where we've gone. We're still hoping the Briar House sends a team up before that comes to that. Even with the fire barrel we brought indoors, it's bitter cold. Okay. I can't read this buffer memory for some reason. There might be one inside. I think I can oh, use this. That might be... That's cotton, isn't it? I don't think I need that. I have a wool one. 
Nope, don't need that one either. Okay. I see some socks down there. How are those? Wool socks? New wool socks. Oh, we'll check check those out. See how they compare to the rest of my socks. Gotta be careful not to get burned here. Burned Too much stuff really to carry. Bad. So yeah, like, don't step on that. That's pretty awesome. Kind of like this picture. Just very confusing looking. Get it with no no breath there. There we go. Okay. Try to creep around here without getting burned. Okay, I'm actually gonna bust out my lantern. No do idea that door was even there. Locked, apparently. Yeah, can't get out. Okay. wonder if I'm going to find a flashlight in here. I probably will, unless I miss it. Cloth right there. See my drink, if I can drink. Okay, so that is working. Alright, still no no condition hit for being starving, basically. Let's crawl under this. Turn off some music. This will come in handy. Eh, I'll leave it. I don't really need it. It's not going to play any music. I was hoping for some music. Could have went for some music. Uh, I can't cross there yet to get to that one. Uh, maybe if I go under, I can. Eh, yeah, I guess I can. Okay. Let's do it. I could use this. I'm just grabbing all this stuff. I'll organize it here later. Unless it's like newspapers. Definitely doesn't have a problem using uh, lamp fuel. Okay, let's head on over here and check this little foreman office area here. Oh, there we go, music. I can barely hear it. Eh, uh, okay. Some fuel. Cloth. That looks. Like, it looks like it should be more than three pieces of cloth. Got here some water. Well, this sounds really electrified. Okay. Interesting enough. Let's uh get on back over here and explore the back part of this garage. I didn't check this, did I? That's a lot of coal. I always forget about this. Was there a furnace here before? I don't remember there being a furnace. Was there one in survival mode? In the sandbox? There's a hammer there too. Excellent. That is nice. Okay, we're gonna take that. Take the quality tools. We have simple tools at home. Simple some, some crackers. Probably gonna drop everything except for the spear and the heavy hammer and the ammunition that we got. We're gonna probably eat the rest. Repair if we need to. Just out of this stuff. Uh, four stalker flyer. It's time to rise up. We can no longer stand idle and watch our beloved Great Bear continue to be raped by these resource companies. If you care about saving this island, meet up at the old lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake Provincial Park. Cell service and sat phone access is spotty, so use this sneaker net. Remember, they're watching, so be careful me down. who you trust. So, sneaker nut obviously means dead drops. Alright. 
80%. I think mine's in better shape. I'm gonna keep what I got anyway. Work gloves, I don't need those. Don't need that. I'll take that. Excellent. I'll take that. Yeah, I have, uh, what could I have? Ski gloves, don't I? Yeah, new ski gloves. I don't need the work gloves. Flare. Really watching out for the electricity. And that's why I brought the crowbar. Apparently I didn't need to though, because they were going to give me one. Could end up Ooh. Being that's a great find. That's a great find right there. We got water in here also. If we need just, just a quarter gallon, but driving gloves. Really don't need that. We have plenty of leather, so I'm not going to bother picking those up to tear them down. Nope, don't need those. Just take that. Windbreaker, nope. Don't need that. We'll take that. And let's look under here just in case they stashed anything nice down here. Not seeing anything. Okay. Getting getting a bit weighed down and tired, I have a feeling. 93 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to shed some weight, guys. Unless we just want to Rambo our way out of here and just completely blast away at the wildlife. But with that bear lurking around, I'm a little... Uh, I'm thinking we might need to run occasionally. Oh, not that I can see anyway. Another cloth. That's going to be three cloth again. Metal pail. Let's head in here. Maybe we can see uh, buffer memory on one of these computers. Is this one working? Nope. They're very temperamental. About which ones actually have some of the lore. Stuff will come in handy. Thank goodness. On them. Nice piece of clothing. I just want something. Okay. I want like Expedition Parker. Brand new. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, I'm a bit. Yeah. I'm a bit sad. I get that Expedition Parker. I think if I could make the old bear into a coat, I should be impervious to wolves. Um. I don't think that's the way it works, though. I could use this. No, you can't, Will. Such a pack rat. it accidentally put it in my pocket without reading it go find it here crumple note here we go months without pay oh, that's the one we already read I left it in the cave head back out from the dam follow the river look for the cave for a cave near the clearing with a hunting glint so there's going to be a um, Alan's cave, I'm guessing, is um, going to have a, a cache in it. So might have to check that out when we uh, end up down around that area again, if we can remember to go down around that area. It won't let me do anything with this. It just gave us the missions, the medicinal plant mission. So, all right, let's go ahead and get some sleep, shall we? What do you guys feel like having some crackers and tomato soup? Uh, yeah, let's just do crackers. And then, uh, yeah, we're still, uh, our condition is still 100%, which should not be, as we basically start ourselves. Sorry if I'm putting any of you into an epileptic seizure, but the lights are a bit weird around here. Yeah, I think I, it might be a cool little screenshot. Actually, let me let me do this one. I do want to light up the world a little bit. 
Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright. Thanks for enduring me on... Or not enduring me, but... Uh, putting up with me. We have enough water on board? Yes, we do. Okay. Paranoid about water. How tired are we? Not that tired. We'll sleep for about six. It looks like the gauges are working, which for some reason they're not... They're not letting anything affect the condition. I don't know why that is. It seems very odd. Never seen that before. Alright, let's take this and put this out at the front. One of the front containers. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Sounds like it might be a blizzard outside, too. We might have to just hole up here for a little while. Sorry, I had to cough there for a second. What's this? Oh, I can't use that. There's a fire log down there. Don't really need that. Um, let's put this in a container or just drop it all. I think I'll just drop everything here. Yeah, let's just drop everything here that I don't need. All right. These wool socks. Let's do a little bit of looking around. Okay, so what I have on is better than, than that. So we'll drop these. Plus these are better than those. So we'll keep what we have there. Uh, the sweaters. I had a thin wool sweater and a thick wool sweater. We're going to go with a new thick wool sweater, which is a huge bonus. Watch that jump up. Eh, it didn't. I thought it was a... Oh, it's just a... Okay, it wasn't 2.6 higher. It was just 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit higher. So we're really close to going to 33. Um, so we can drop that and we can drop that one. And we're good. On all that, let's go through everything and do a little bit of purging. Those, don't need those. Don't need those. Need those. I'll keep one in keys. I don't even really need it for emergency. Honestly. I'm just dropping it. Uh, three tinder plugs. Five of those. That seems a bit overkill. Yeah. We'll drop three of them. Okay. They're not too hard to find. And that seems a bit overkill too. All things considered. That's pretty good. I, w I do like carrying around a lot of pain meds because for some reason I seem to Injure myself a lot. Uh, oh, the thick wool scarf. Yeah, let's check that out. Uh, is that an accessory? No. That's something I'd have to use here. Is it better than this? No. Probably not better than this either. No, not even close. Okay. We'll drop it. Yeah, I, was, I got excited a little bit for it, but it's not going to happen. And we can just basically eat our until we're full. Uh, yeah, I know this is a little sketchy to eat. Um, I'm not going to eat it. We got so much food, I don't need to risk it. So I'll, I'll, I will eat these uh, chocolate bars. I don't think I've ever got sick off of chocolate bars. Ever. But I'm just going to fill up my belly. With food. Because we have so much of it here. It's ridiculous. And I'm just going to eat from low condition to high condition. Because honestly, if I leave this food behind, I'll never see it again. I don't think. And I'm probably still going to have to leave some behind. At this rate, looks like. Yeah. Alright. Um. So we're hay three pounds. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Going to get rid of the dog food because that just tastes nasty. Um, uh, keep that, keep that. Get rid of this. Those go bad. Pork and beets. Haven't had that in a long time. I'm going to keep that for variety. Uh, that's good for... That's 500 calories right there. Plus it helps you heal. And it's pretty lightweight, honestly. It's pretty light. 500 calories right there. Uh, all things considered. That's 600 calories. That's 500 calories plus hydrates and all that. It's half the weight. So, tea's not bad at all for you. And let's go and drink. I can definitely drink. I know I'm not getting any calorie bonus now at this point, but... I can do that. And I'll drop that. Drop that. Keep that. Yeah, drop. Oh, you know what? I could have drank it, but that's alright. I'll drink it here in a second. 
There we go. Much lighter there, at least for the food. We got 11 pounds. It's still a lot. Still a lot. Hmm. Drink. Let me drink the uh, soda. Where'd I put the soda? It's buried, isn't it? There it is. I didn't even see it down there. Okay. Just a big pile of stuff right there is what that is. Okay. Now, let's see here. Fill up our lantern. And I am going to actually probably just drop that. That's that's almost seven pounds. That's like six and a half pounds. That's huge. I'm going to drop that. I have one back at the base anyway. And I'm going to drop this too. Don't need to be carrying that around. Uh, hatchet. I'm going to drop whichever one is not as good. Heck, so I'll probably need that later. So I don't think I have one of those. And quality tools, better than simple tools. I have simple tools back at the uh, at the cabin. Let's see here. That's yeah, a little bit much on the cloth. Drop half of that. Yeah. We're down to 68 pounds. What else can we get rid of? Let's see here. Probably some of this food, honestly. Okay, we'll get rid of the beans. Get a cup of coffee. Um, get rid of some of these. That's like a cardinal sin to get rid of those, but honestly, we don't need it. The survival of our species. I have a bunch of these. I, I could probably leave one of these here. Don't need to carry that can around. That hammer's pretty heavy. So, we're a little way down. But, uh, I do want to take the hammer with us in case we need it somewhere else. get a little bit more underweight if I get rid of this cloth. Let's just get rid of those. And you know what? Let's get rid of these. We have some of those back at camp. And I don't, really don't need two bandages. So, okay. We're a little bit underweight now. Which is fine. Let's see if we can get to the top of the hill. Without getting munched on. I think there was a cache over here, or maybe it was over there. We'll find it eventually. Eh. Eh. I don't know. We'll go in the back door here if we can get in. That's yeah, locked. Okay. Should I just shoot him? I'm thinking I should just shoot him. Clear him out. We'll see. Yeah, he's coming at us. Where's he at? I think I'm just going to shoot him. If he comes around. Nope. Hammer. I've never used that before. Wow, that was quick. That was really quick. Alright, we're gonna grab one of those bandages again. Chest. Well, he threw me off when he turned the other way. Wonder if I have a... Wonder if I have a... Yeah, infection. Okay, there we go. Infection risk. There we go. Okay, yep. Our, uh... Condition is taking a hit now, finally. All right, I'm gonna make a run for it before he re resets. He's getting bleeding all over the place. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to go behind those crates like that. that. That really threw me off. But I figure if we kill him, there's three days where we don't have to deal with him again. It's foggy though. Warm. Pretty freaking warm. Now, can we make it out there? I mean, there's a deer standing out there. I, I would hope we would be able to. I'm going to try it. I guess during Aurora, that would be the time to, to travel. Because it looks like all these lights, you can just go all the way up there using the lights. Now, I don't know if they go past the... Uh, the fence up here. I can't remember. Oh, there's another wolf there. Shoot. Go towards the deer. There's a deer right there, man. 
Oh, I don't want to have to shoot you. But, I will. Oh, I missed. And it didn't even scare him. He's like, whatever, dude. What? It scared the deer, which was further off. That's weird. I think I shot under him. I don't know. It seems like he's not even reacting to me. Like, yeah, I should have aggroed him there, I thought. I think I can use this. Oh, that seems like a waste of space, honestly, because I can make those easy. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with that wolf, but whatever. Really weird. Okay, maybe I was just a really bad shot, but I'm not sure why he didn't run like the uh, like the deer did. Some weird stuff going on. It really is weird stuff going on with the wildlife. That's a design. All right, yeah. So there's no more lights. If we were in the aurora, this would be a little bit more dangerous up here because we can hop from light to light. Sometimes there's a cache up here. Some good clothing. I don't know if we picked up the note or not to activate it. Uh, I think we might have a while back. Not 100% sure, though. So. Yeah, like up there somewhere. Right up there. Sometimes a patrol wolf out here. And I'm just going to try to shoot him. Oh, there he is. Optimistically try to shoot him. Oh, yeah. I think I see it from here, actually. I thought I just saw it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm, yeah, I think I'm just tripping out. There's the cabin. All right, let's see if we can get up here and find this cache. May or may not be up here. Maybe it's on the map. No, it's not. So I probably won't find it up here. I think it was up here, near, or maybe it was down here by this dead tree. I think I've activated it yet. That's probably what happened. Okay, there's the wolfie. Oh, he's coming after me now, huh? Oh, that's a different one. Alright, I'm just gonna make a run for it here. There's one in front of me. Is he hot on my tail here? I think he is. That's all right. We'll be we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. No worries. I don't think we'll have to go back through there anyway because there's a mountain rope anchor point up here. All right, let's just get inside. Wow. This must have been really nice once upon a time. We got a couple cars out here as well. Definitely check those out. This place is flooded with wolves and rabbits. Poor ra oh yeah, poor rabbits. I was gonna say. They're trying to make a run for it. Let's see what. Let's watch the nature channel here for a second. Well, there we go. I was gonna say let's watch this nature channel. Meanwhile, nature channel sneaking up on me. Let's get inside. Let's get inside, guys. Now, to find that spear. Can't be that hard to find. Big old spear. And we got food in here. Look at this cooked rabbit. It's ruined. Don't eat it. Not unless you have level five cooking. I don't know how level. Yeah, that was pretty hard. Do I have to fix it now? Damn. Looks like one little detail got missed in the trapper's legend of the old bear. The spear didn't survive the fight. Heavy. 
Must be something I can use to fix it in that old machine shed. What oh, back there? Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I knew I shouldn't have brought a pot. Dang it. Carry that thing around for no reason. Cond oh, condensed milk's like really heavy in calories. Yeah, okay. Take that. Excellent. Drink this up here. While we're here. What? What? No way. No way. What? Do that again. Man, you'd think in the apocalypse they give you a couple more rings. More than two rings to get to the phone. <laughs> that was crazy. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Oh yeah, we can't we can't even eat it. We're so full. Okay, fine. Uh I could drink some herbal tea and stay the night here. Recover. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will stay here. History of the Collapse Part Three. I don't know how have we read did we read any of the other ones? Read it. Unhappy with their growing dependence on mainland for economic support as well as the mainlanders. Continued view that Great Bear exists solely as a resource clearinghouse for their benefit. Some people who chose to remain on Great Bear decided to engage their self-sufficiency. Small-scale local food production efforts akin to the Victory Garden program of World War II England and Canada sprouted up all over Great Bear, with individuals and even communities taking it in their own hands to produce food and power resources. Some of these activities took uh, on an aspect of being politically or even ideologically motivated. These weren't just gardens or small-scale attempts to provide for the local needs. These were acts of rebellion against a perceived occupying and uh, economy force, economic force. The Bubba effect. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. There's got to be ammo around here somewhere. More ammo for me to miss wolves with. Around here somewhere. I don't know. I get the feeling there might be a surprise up here. Nope. Okay. Oh, a chest. These are always great to uh, search. What have we here? Cargo pants. I think what we have might be better. We'll take it anyway. Decent hoodie. That's not going to be as good as what we have. Let's put that back. Expedition Parker, come on. No. Not the Expedition Parker. Give me some nice new boots. I need boots because I missed the, the ones next to Grey Mother. Last time. Okay. Oh, there we go. This will come in handy. Did you guys see that before? Did I like mouse past it and miss it and you guys were thinking I wasn't going to get it? I have to wonder. I'm pretty good about finding ammo. Typically. I, th I, mi I did miss one round. Uh, I noticed in the comments. Uh, I Apparently I, I stepped over it or it was right at my feet. And uh, where I was standing, I just didn't notice it. Um, there's one right there, actually. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay. We're gonna have to offload if we're gonna go down using a rope. And I think we have a rope here. Man, would they quit giving me work boots? Come on, man. Okay, let's head downstairs. Well, actually, head downstairs after. Check this area here. Now we're cooking with gas. I don't need that bandage. Don't need those. Actually, how many bandages do I have? Yeah, I don't know. How many do I have? Is it one or two? No, I just have one. Okay, I'll take one more. There we go. This room has got to have more than just that. I'm trying to see back there if I can. No. Oh, okay. Head downstairs. Underneath that box. Peanut butter. Hope I can still eat this. Good stuff. And we'll drink some of this tea before we go to bed here. Only 56 degrees in here. Wow. Actually, kind of cool. Ah, flashlight. That's a new tool we can use. Steel metal shelf.
another rifle round. Wow. Oh, I can clean my rifle. And more, another box of ammo. Wow. Goodness, goodness. Okay. Gauntlets. Oh, these are pretty good, I think. Warm and tough. Yeah, I think those are my new, uh, my new gloves. Forced uh, talker map. This might be the one up on the hill that I was just looking for. Meet up at the abandoned hunting lodge. Outskirts of Mystery Lake Park. GPS coordinates. Unreadable. We have to stop these. Briar House corporate blank. Okay. So apparently not. That's another Mystery Lake one. Take it. Book, book. We're stalker cash in the maintenance yard. for. Oh, so they're all unlocking suddenly? wonder why they all just unlock. See that... So this is the one that I was talking about when I was leaving. Okay, so yeah, that is right around the corner. Uh, now, I think we cleared out that wolf, so we should go... I thought there was one up here that had some nice boots. The uh, Really nice boots, actually. And there's our rope that we're about to put out there. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed the newspapers. It's okay, I still need to offload a lot of weight. Could end up being useful. That was two flare shell shells there, by the way. Three, four, five, six. That was a lot of flare shells. I'm gonna start shooting flares just for the fun of it. We gotta be up to about 90 pounds now. I can barely move. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's anything in the wheelbarrow. That'd be a nice little spot to hide something. Okay. Seeing anything at the moment. Not really needing anything at the moment either. Ah, oh, man, I have like 35 rounds. I came out here with 20. I'm up to 15 rounds and I've been shooting horribly. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, clean our rifle, eat, drink tea, recuperate, get rid of this. Uh, I drop a lot of stuff here before I go out there because I might not even make it out to the anchor point. I might get eaten by wolves before I even make it there. See here, uh, those. Pretty sure we're better off with what we have. I got new and decent. Oh, maybe. There we go. We'll wear these. Get rid of these. Okay. And I don't have anything here yet. I need the ear wraps. It's okay. We're up 32 degrees, which isn't too bad. All right. So we're wearing everything else. Let me... Oh, yeah, except the gauntlets. I do need to repair the gauntlets. See, these are 1.8, 1.7, and they're not nearly, they're in half the condition. So we do want to repair these. We'll do that with the leather back at the, uh, at the, uh, maintenance shed. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I will drop these and put these on. No. Can I repair them now? I don't have any cured leather. Yeah, let's throw this on real quick. I know it's not as warm, but I don't really want to carry these around with me. Gee gloves. So, okay. I got those boots upstairs I could tear down into leather and repair these. I really want to... Eh, we can do it. I think maybe we have enough time. Let's do that. Help kill some time. Yeah, let's, let's tear up these boots up here. I think they're over here. Not there in the next one. Yeah, they're in the next one. Is it this one? No. Where'd they go? There they are. Okay. I think I can use this. I think you're about to, Will. Let's just stand next to the bed since we're going to be going to bed here anyway. Let's uh, harvest this up for two leather. I don't know if we're going to have enough light to... We'll see. We'll see. Oh, 25 minutes. That's not bad. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Let's, get, uh, let's go to fully repair him. We get two chances at this. Oh, good. Glad we had two pieces of leather. Let's not screw up again. Nice. That was close. So now we're up to 34, so that added two degrees of warmth. And a lot of weather... Weather protection as well. Good armor. 
You can feed that to a wolf, man. That's that's the way to do it. You get attacked, just let them have it. While you hit him with the hammer. That hammer got him off me quick. I never I don't think I've ever used a hammer before in a wolf attack. That was interesting. Okay, so got a lot of extra stuff here. I'm just gonna eat. I'm gonna have peanut butter for dinner tonight. Peanut butter and crackers. That's good. I don't think I have enough room for my tummy's gonna be full. <laughs> there it is. Alright, I'll have that in the morning. Um, and then we'll drink a little bit of tea. Am I ready for bed yet? Eh, not really. I can kill a little bit of time here. You know what? Let's uh, let's take a loaded rifle and let's clean it in the dark. Sounds like a good idea. How heavy is this? Oh my gosh! I said three and a half pounds. I was a, I was a wee bit off, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to leave behind the... I think I'm going to leave this behind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Oh, wow. Okay. I got a lot of stuff I can leave behind, though. And, well, this is going to drop a lot of weight, too. Once I get rid of that, but... Let's, uh... <sighs> let's clean it. Uh, well, you know what? They probably, in the update, they probably made it so you shoot yourself. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you actually clean it when it's loaded. So let's unload it. Otherwise, that won't be an option. That wouldn't be an option. I guess if you're going to upgrade rifles, that's why they have it there. But really, you should be doing that before you clean it. <laughs> All right, where are we at now? 50 Oh, yeah, definitely needed cleaning. Maybe that's why I was missing my shots. Either way, it's my fault. I'm either a horrible shot or I, uh, it was my fault for not maintaining my rifle properly. Sounds wicked outside. This is killing a lot of time. It's actually really good. a new rifle. Alright. Guys, I am going to end this episode here. I'm way over. So, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you are subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Y'all take care.